My name is Happy Anderson, and I'm the president of the West Valley Country Music Association. Well, it's been about almost three years ago. Um, my husband and I came up with the idea, and he passed away this last December, so I'm just trying to carry it on. The events that we have put on mainly have been open mics, such as we're doing today, and we've been uh, active in songwriter showcases, um, the open mics, the jams. Roll again. Just get in white, get on. Roll again. My name is Ron Rose. I'm alone. Country music, uh, a lot of it is about tragedy and sorrows and different things that happen to people through the ages. It's pretty much about life to me, you know, and like I say, one lady asked me at a care home, don't sing anything depressing. I said, have you ever heard a country song? Hold me close and take me across the floor. My name is Todd Carlson. I am 46 years old. I've been playing music for 31 years. Professionally, about 12. Been playing with Ron for about eight and a half years. What got me into music was growing up in a household of many musicians. My mom, my dad, and my sister. Just having music in the household was a blessing. And so, you know, music is life to me. And, you know, whenever there's something gets you down or something like that, music can always lift you. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Church. Got me into music. And uh, I started playing in church when I was 15 years old. It was a big inspiration to me. And it's music that can change people's lives for the better. And singing is about all I do now to make money. And I never started to ever make money. I done it because I love to do it. I've been with Sanderson Ford for 24 years. I've uh, been there for a long time, enjoying my job. I took a part-time job driving for Sanderson Ford down in Glendale, Arizona. Been playing with many bands. I've been through, I've been through like about five or six bands. And I knew Todd for probably four or five years. I heard he played bass guitar. My coworkers, my boss, I should say, and the owner, they've had me play for them, and like for his wedding reception and all this. Uh, so they know that I love music and that that's a part of my life. And then one day I asked him, I needed a bass player. He's like, hey, you should come out and play with me and all that. And I was just, I don't know. I was out of a band and not wanting to play music for a while. He said, let's go over and play in the break room, you know, after work. And so we played together a few times and it, it just worked out great. From there, it's been a blessing. And that's how we got together. <laughs> This is our first time out here at Chef Peter's Bistro. Chef Peter's, yes. I love doing that because you're introduced to songs that you don't normally do. And as a musician, I can just about play anything by ear. Many songs that we've never, after one verse, we pretty much have it. So that's, it's fun. Believe it or not, we don't practice. When we get up on stage and we play, that's when I usually find out his originals, a new, oh, I wrote, I wrote a new one this week. I put my hand in it and my technique, and I think it's, it works out really good. Uh, as far as Ron Rose, uh, the country experience, um, I've known them probably two years now and listened to them at different venues. I first saw them at a place called I and J Fountain. It's also in Surprise. I liked them really well there. Well, we're at I and J's Fountain today, and we've been playing here, I think, probably going on two years. And we play anywhere from once a month to twice a month. Isabella's very nice to work for, and food's great here, so. 
and it's not that far away from, from home. This helps out with when you're having a hard day and all that, you know, obviously music is to the soul. It seems like that some of the older music is being forgotten and we just like to keep it alive. I, since I've been playing with the Ron Rose, I, since I've been sober too, that's, I gotta hit that home because um, this music has helped me and my relationship with him and the many supporters that come out and listen to us play. I, I feel blessed that we, that I've actually found Ron and he's somebody that I look up for, to and getting to know the folks at any place we play, restaurants, uh, cruises that we're going to be going on, it's, it's a blessing. Your heart needs to be in it. I like people, if they never made a dime again, they would keep doing it. I don't have to make a lot of money to do what I love to do. And it seems like anymore, no matter what people do, the line of work, the number one thing that's most important to them is, is money. And it's a great thing when you can get in a, a business that you, you can't wait to get to work. I think the heart needs to be in, especially in country music. Country music is songs that come from the heart. Thank you. George Strait, I love it.